On December 19th, 2002, the Georgia State Patrol, along with Fulton County Police, began a high-speed chase with a suspect wanted for multiple armed robberies. The suspect had been reportedly armed and dangerous and on a possible drug-addicted suicide mission. Once the suspect was caught, he made a final ditch effort to take his final hit of crack cocaine while police, guns drawn, were yelling for him to put the pipe down, put the pipe down. Among a sea of police cars and a helicopter hovering above, the suspect was apprehended and sent to jail. He was found guilty of the crimes and sentenced to 17 years in prison without the possibility of parole. That suspect was me. My name is William Robert Rutledge. I was released from prison two years ago. I am now a drafting technology major at Georgia Northwestern Technical College with a 4.0 GPA. A turning point came in my life in 2005. It was like I saw the concrete and steel for the first time and realized that was gonna be my life for the next 15 years. It was also at that moment that I realized that it was my drug addiction was the reason for my incarceration and that no one else was to blame but me. Um, that's when I got up, I went to my prison cell. I got on my knees and I begged God to give me the strength to never use any legal substance as long as I live. I got up from my knees and I'm still sober to this day. Praise God. Six years into my sentence, I was transferred to Walker State Prison and assigned to work detail at Georgia Correctional Industries Metal Fabrication Plant. It was at Walker where I completed and served as a team leader in the Faith and Character Program. Having a machinist background and newly acquired sheet metal fabrication skills and technical drawing experience, I knew that I wanted to um, further my education in computer-aided drafting. I'm sorry. All the skills that I possess today were born in the halls of technical education. From my certificate in machine tool technology to the current skills I have gained in CAD programming, my technical education has provided me with a job all my adult life, even when I was in prison. Today, with the outstanding teaching I receive through Corey Allen and the wonderful professors at GNTC, my potential is endless in what I can achieve in the manufacturing industry. This is why I chose technical education. When I was released from prison, I immediately signed up for classes at GNTC. I was also hired by Georgia Correctional Industries as a CAD draftsman. I went from being a prison inmate to a state employee within a matter of weeks. Not long after my hire, I was on site at the state capitol building, witnessing the installation of a reception desk of my design in the governor's office. It was a pretty surreal moment in my life. God saved my life through prison. He transformed me from inmate number 1147587 to the man I am today. My story represents more than myself. It represents the army of people God placed in my life to bring me to this moment right here before you today. I am proof that rehabilitation can work. And what better addition to a successful reentry than technical education? What an honor it is to be here before y'all today. Thank you.